now we're going to look at how we can actually have a method and we pass more than one parameter to it and also how we can make our code a little bit more reusable. So I've got a um, method here. What it does is it reads a line of text from the user. And then if the uh, text that they've typed is longer than 10 characters, it will print out um, the first 10 characters and add an ellipsis, three dots after it. Um, if, it's, uh, if it's not more than 10 characters, if it's 10 or less, it will just print it out as it is. Now this code is potentially somewhat reusable. We could, um, for example, um, have it so that we could change the um, the the length of the um, uh, phrase that we want to use. In this case, it's fixed at ten. Okay. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to extract it as it is. Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to cut that and put it into its own method. Okay. In order for it to work, you'll see that we're going to need um, a string. Okay. Some text. So let's um, let's create a method. We'll say um, static, um, oops, static void. Um, and I think what it does is it trims it with an ellipsis. So I'm going to call the method trim with ellipsis. Okay. Um, and in order for it to work, we're going to need the phrase. Okay. So um, and that phrase is a string. So we'll say string phrase, but actually it's any kind of text. We've asked a user for a phrase. So here it makes sense to use the name phrase, but we could use this method again in another program. So I'm just going to call it text because um, I guess it could be a, a some other input that isn't readable uh, in terms of making sense in English as a phrase. Um, and then I'm going to cut this. <coughs> I'm going to paste it here. Obviously I've changed it to text. So everywhere I've got phrase here, I need to replace it with text. Okay, and then I'm going to call this method trim with ellipsis. Okay, and we'll pass in the uh, the phrase from the user. Okay, so let's just test this out. We'll hit run. Type a phrase, hello, how are you? Hit enter, and it's still working. We've got the first 10 characters. Okay, you might argue that there's a scope for improvement here in that if the, the 10th character is space that we trim it, before we um, add the ellipsis, that would be reasonably easy to do. We could, after we've got the substring, we could just call dot trim, um, and then add the ellipsis. Okay, so that's a nice little improvement we've made there. It looks like I've spelt ellipsis wrong. Um, where's the uh, correct spelling? Two L's. There we go. Well, let's fix that. So it's changed it here as well. Okay. So that's well and good, but actually, if we wanted to um, have it trim with 30 characters, what we might end up doing is thinking, okay, well, trim with ellipsis, 10 chars, and then what we might do is like copy this um, and say trim with ellipsis, we want with 20, and then we change this to 20 and that to 20. But you're already seeing that we essentially got almost exactly the same code. Okay, so we didn't really want to do that, so I'll undo all of that. I've just done. Okay, and actually you can think about it. We've got a value 10 and a value 10. So the first thing we could do is we could say, well, okay, could we replace this with a variable? So we could say something like int length equals 10. And we could swap that to length, and we could swap this to length. Okay, so there, there, there we're, we're good. Okay, so we now can just change it in one place. So that's 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 useful. Um, but still, we'd end up duplicating this if we wanted to use it. So what we could do instead is we could say, well, okay, we can trim the text, but we could also pass in an integer that represents how long we want it to be. So rather than declaring length here, we could say, okay, int length, okay? Now obviously when we come to here where we want to, to use it, it's going to complain and it's going to say, well, we need expecting two arguments. It wants a, a string and an integer, and we're only giving it one. So if we want to pass more than one parameter to a method, we just use a comma, and then we can specify the length. So if I set that to 10 and run it, uh, we get that. Okay, I didn't, um, yeah, we're just doing our trim for us as well. Um, I can't spell you. Uh, similarly, if I then go and change that to a five, uh, 
uh, it works. So we can change it very easily. Okay. Um, there's no sort of practical limit on the number of um, parameters that you can pass to uh, a method. I think there might be um, some kind of limit. I can't remember what it is. It might be like 256 or 65,000 or something like that. Um, but in reality, you, you wouldn't want to be passing that many parameters um, to uh, a method. Okay, so that's that's passing multiple parameters to a method to make it um, uh, more reusable.